Hello friends. In this video, I'll deal with the procedure to create a balcony. You know that balcony is commonly seen in almost all civil and architectural projects, whether it is a residence or an apartment or an office. When you analyze a balcony, you can see that the handrails and balusters are features which makes a one balcony look different from others. In this video, I'll primarily deal with the procedure to create balusters and handrails by using the 2D elevation as a reference. So let's switch over to the 2D drawing. In the 2D drawing, we have a number of balusters and a handrail on top. Before I create the profiles, I must turn off the hash patterns. You know that hash patterns are nothing but filled areas in a drawing. So you can just give the fill command and you can give the off option and followed by a region command. This will turn off the visibility of hash patterns temporarily. Next, I'll create the profile for the baluster. I'll keep that profile in a new layer called profile. So I'll click on layer properties manager and I'll click on new layer button and I'll create a layer called profile. And I'll keep that layer as the current layer. I'll close this. Next, I'll zoom this area slightly and I'll give a command called B poly using the keyboard or else you can take the boundary command from the draw panel. So I'll go to draw panel and click on the boundary command and boundary command will automatically let you create a boundary by picking an inside point. So the resulting boundary can be either a polyline or a region. I want the boundary to be region. So select region and pick a point inside. Now the boundary is automatically created as a region. Next uh, you give the same command once again and pick an inside point using the pick points option. Another boundary is created as a region. Again you can repeat by giving an enter. Pick an inside point. Now I'll right click the mouse and choose a repeat boundary to repeat the boundary command. Pick an inside point to get the boundary as a region. Now we have created several regions. We will retain only the profile layer and turn off the rest of the layers. So I'll go to layer walk. I want to retain only the profile layer. So you select profile and just give close and just click continue. Now I want to convert all these regions to a single object. So you click on union command and you select all the regions. Next, we will copy this region and you paste it onto our 3D file. So I'll just select this profile and I'll press Ctrl C to copy. And I'll switch over to 3D file by pressing the Ctrl tab button and uh, you should align the UCS where you want to insert it. So I'll click on view tab and I'll select the face option of UCS command and I'll click on this face and I'll give an enter. Next, I'll press Ctrl V to paste it. Now you can insert it on the desired location. I'll just pick a point over there. Now by using the move command, I'll move this profile, okay, with this midpoint as the base point and I'll select this perpendicular as the second point. Now I'll move this slightly backwards using the same move command through a distance of 1.5 centimeters. So I'll type 1.5, it is moved slightly backwards. Now you can extrude this profile Okay, using the extrude command to generate a surface out of it, I'll give a height of extrusion of minus 1.75. It got extruded, but this baluster is to be kept in a separate layer. So I'll go to layer panel and I'll click on the layer properties manager and click on new layer and I'll call it as 3D edge layer for 3D handrail. And I'll give a color for that layer to identify the handrails. Okay, let it be this color. I'll keep that layer as the current layer and I'll transfer this handrail to the 3D edge rails layer. Now these two objects are two separate objects so you can just again give union, one more union and select these two objects. Now it's converted as a single object. Now you can transfer this object into the 3D edge rails layer by selecting it and click on that particular layer. Next, I would like to create multiple copies of this baluster at a fixed distance. 
So let me switch over to the 2D file and I'll activate all layers. I'll turn on all layers. So I'll go to layer walk and I'll select all layers right from the first to last. Then I'll click on close and continue. When you count the balusters from first to last, you can see that there are 27 balusters altogether. And you can find out the distance between each member using the dist command. So I'll give dist and this is one point and you can select a corresponding point over here. Okay, now the distance is displayed as 15 centimeter. So altogether I need 27 numbers at a distance of 15 centimeter. So we have to give array classic command. So I'll type array and choose array classic from here. Number of row is one and the number of columns are 27 and distance between column is 15. And you can select this object to be arrayed and you can just preview it. Now you have got all the members. Okay, just give an enter. Now when you look at this corner, you can see that this portion is going inside the wall. So you have to perform a small correction. So let's take a view from the front. So I'll change the visual style to wireframe. I'll click on the view tab and I'll select front. Now let's zoom it. So when you magnify it, you can see that a small correction is required over here. So let's go to move command and I'll select the entire set of objects and I'll select this as a base point. Now I want to actually move in the minus x direction. So y and z coordinate will remain the same. So I can use point filters. I'll select dot yz off the same point. When I'm asked to give x, I can choose x from any point on this line. So I can use the nearest option and I'll select this point. Now it is perfectly moved. Now it is corrected. So let's go back to the previous view. So I'll click on view and I'll select southwest isometric. Now I'll change the visual style to realistic. Next I have to create the handrail. The section of the handrail is rectangular. So I'll start with rectangle and I'll activate the dynamic UCS. Once the dynamic UCS is active, the profile will get automatically aligned on the highlighted face. Now this face is highlighted because I want to actually construct the rectangle on this face. So click to define the first corner of the rectangle and you go to dimension option. The length of the rectangle is 3.5 centimeters and uh, the width of the rectangle is 7 centimeter. Now just click to define the opposite corner point of the rectangle. So we have created the section of the handrail. Now I'll move the rectangle with this as the base point and this mid as a second point. Next we have to extrude this profile to complete the handrail. So I'll change my visual style. Then I'll go to extrude command and I'll select this profile. When I'm asked to give the height, you don't have to specify any value, but instead just take the cursor and pick a point over here. It will automatically take the distance between these two points as the height. Now we have completed the balusters and handrail in the balcony of this double story 3D house. Hope this tutorial has given you some ideas and insights in creating balconies by using the 2D elevation as the reference. You can also try another interesting tutorial in my channel which deals with creating curvular balconies using the power of path arrays. Please click on the link provided and I wish you the very best.